My dear family, friends, and colleagues, first and foremost, I hope you're staying safe and you are healthy during these very difficult times. Many of you have known that throughout my professional career, I've spent a significant portion as somebody who's tried to champion safety. We together have done some amazing work that has helped move the safety agenda forward. But today we need so much more. The death rates and infection rates from COVID-19 continue to skyrocket out of control. Our care teams at the front lines are working 24 seven under amazingly difficult and stressful times where they don't have the equipment, basic things like masks and gloves and gowns and even diagnostic testing equipment to help ensure not only their safety, but those that they're trying to take care of. So much of this was preventable if our leaders had listened to the scientists and the infection prevention specialists who shared the warnings of what would probably occur. These are stressful times. We all need to look at ways to help us navigate through these. Some use yoga, some meditation. Now that my knees have been pretty much shot from running through the years, I tend to go to walking to relieve that stress. Many are doing great things across this country to help raise awareness, and I feel it's only my responsibility to do something. So I am committing to walking 100 miles in six days in memory of those who have passed away from preventable medical harm, both patients as well as caregivers. I will walk using social distancing. And as I do, I will hopefully raise awareness around the patient and caregiver crises that we have in US healthcare today. I also wanna raise awareness about a planned March for Patient Safety, which will take place on September 17th of this year in Washington, DC. We are hopeful that things will have calmed and some normalcy will have returned to our country and we could hold this March. If you are interested in learning more about my walk and following me during my training, as well as during the week of my walk, please go and follow me on Instagram as well as on Twitter. If you want to connect with me and share what you're doing to help move the safety agenda forward, I'd love to hear from you and please use this hashtag. If you wanna learn more about our planned March for patient safety in September, please use this website. And finally, if you wanna learn more about my walk and how I'm trying to raise funds that support a successful March in September for patient safety, please go to this website to learn more about our mission. Thank you for all you do to make care safer for all those we try to protect. Please also say a prayer for those at the front line who are doing just heroic work to keep us safe. And again, I hope you and your family stay safe and thank